hello guys welcome back to another video uh today we're going to be doing lumber tycoon part two and today we're just going to be fixing all the bugs with the game so yeah uh i'm going to be blazing through this because i've recorded this six or seven times uh and something went wrong each time <laughs> so hopefully this goes right i mean if it's on youtube then it went right okay first bug uh floats above we don't want that second bug uh, this, it kind of like bounces, it rolls, and then if you drop it, it does that. Okay, yeah, sec- oh, actually, I should show you the rest of the bugs. Okay, third bug goes into ground. Actually, wait, no, is that the third bug? Wait. Oh, yeah, that is the third bug, yeah, goes into ground. Okay. Oh, and then fourth bug. Uh, you can... Oh, wait. Wait, ne never mind, never mind. That wasn't a bug. Never mind. I thought that was a bug, but it wasn't. Okay. Let's fix the... Let's fix the one with the velocity. So, this is a really simple one. That's why I chose this for the first one. Uh, what we're going to do is... After here, we're going to do holdy dot anchored is equal to true. Uh, holdy dot anchored is equal to uh false after we disconnect it okay that was a very simple fix for the velocity okay now let's fix uh the thing where it's ab like above the mouse okay so oh oopsies well i just oh my gosh no 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 okay you didn't see that you didn't no oh, no no you didn't see that either forgot to forgot to remove that <laughs> okay well you didn't you didn't see that okay so you need to put in the UIS. I'll I'll do that. Okay. Local local. Oh my gosh. Local UIS is equal to game get service user input service. Okay. So uh, this just stands for user input service. Uh, I don't know why, but the mouse dot x and mouse dot y is a little bit weird. Uh, so we're going to be using use uh user input services mouse position. So we're gonna do local mouse position. So local mouse pause is equal to UIS get mouse location. And we can just change this to mouse pause dot y mouse pause dot x and mouse pause dot y. And yes, that should be good. Hopefully. Yes, it's nice. Okay. And then it doesn't do the weird glitch and then if you drop it it just falls nice okay so third glitch the annoying one where it might go under the ground this is this is definitely the hardest one this is where i kept failing to do it properly so hopefully i get it this time okay so we're going to quickly add a local uh ray paran or not ray paran uh, ray result, and we're going to set that equal to workspace raycast, and we're going to pass it in, uh, pass in ray to origin ray ray dot direction times dist, and uh, then we're going to pass in the ray params which we need to make. So local ray yeah, ray params is equal to ray params or raycast params dot new and after that we're going to do ray params dot filter type is equal to enum dot raycast filter type dot blacklist okay so uh we're gonna have to do the next part of the ray params after i guess anchored we're gonna do ray params dot uh filter descendants instances you can <laughs> you can take a second to look at that if you don't have autocomplete or something uh and we're gonna set that equal to uh cur in curly brackets hold e and player dot character okay this is just saying that uh the ray won't check itself or the character so if my mouse is hovering over the character, the like the player's character, uh, it wouldn't be weird and 
to be wonky and stuff. Okay, so now we can pass ray params in here, and that's all fun and stuff. Okay, now after the ray, pr ray result, we can say uh, if ray result. So if the ray uh, found something, then holdy dot position is equal to ray result dot position. And if it didn't, so else, we're going to put in our old line of code. Okay, so that will work as we expected it to. It still works like that, but it, or, and it doesn't go through the ground and it doesn't mess with the player. Uh, but there is one thing, it, it's like halfway in the ground yeah, we don't really want that. We don't want it to be halfway in the ground. So, what we can do to fix that, because we don't really want it to be halfway in the ground, is on this line, we can do plus uh, uh, ray result dot normal times, uh, and since it was halfway in the ground, we'll have to say holdy dot size. Uh, and times 0 0.5 because it was only halfway in the ground. So half, halfway, so half of itself in the ground. And uh, the normal is what surface it's on. So if it's on the ceiling, it will go come off of the ceiling. If it's on the, like, the left wall, it will come off of the left wall. Okay, let's see that in action. Very quick video. And it indeed worked. And if we put it against this wall here, it works fine. We put it against this wall over here, works fine. But you might notice that it kind of goes into the wall if it isn't its normal. Uh, and that I will fix in the next video because the way that I found the method that I found to fix that is not great. <laughs> Let's just say that. It's not great. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for this video. I promised myself I would get this out by tonight, so that's what I did. <laughs> uh, yeah. See you next time. Bye.